Hey guys, so I'm using this video to demonstrate a BeamNG SimTools plugin fix that I have just created that fixes the traction loss parameter. Now, if you notice, currently my motion simulator is motion queuing off of the extra one or the traction loss parameter. Now, I'll go ahead and demonstrate a fully working fully isolated traction loss in BeamNG and SimTools. Now, I will slide to the left, and I slide to the left. Go a little further, we will slide to the right. All right. <laughs> and I slide to the right. No weird glitches. Nice and smooth transitions. Now I currently have a filter on the traction loss parameter of around 29, I believe. So it's nice and smooth. If I want it to be a little harder, I can make it harder by decreasing that filter. But for now, this is a working demonstration of the traction loss parameter in BeamNG using SimTools on my 6 degree of freedom motion simulator. Now, prior to this fix, the traction loss parameter was utilizing a velocity vector that was not based on the car's own coordinate system. Instead, the coordinate system was that of the global coordinate system. Now, instead of the values need to be translated to the direction that the car is facing, and to do that, we need to modify the telemetry output that BeamNG itself outputs. Now, fortunately, BeamNG has provided this motionsim.lua file that defines and instructs the telemetry output utilizing the forward vector as well as the up vector. I was able to compute the right vector. Now, the right vector is the y-axis. I want to determine the velocity on that y-axis, and I already know the three-dimensional velocity vector. Using that information, I can calculate, using some math, the velocity vector on the y-axis. And I do that extra calculation within the Visual Studio .NET code of the plugin itself. Utilizing the forward vector that I've now inputted from the motionsim.lua. I can cross product the up vector to get the right vector. With the right vector, I can then calculate, based off of the three-dimensional velocity vector, the traction loss, or the velocity on the y-axis. I output to extra one, and then I consume it within SimTools and the game. Later.